all about the unity. There's nothing they can do with us, so ain't nobody move with me. Like that the king, we make the plain simple. Bring it knowledge and fire at reality simple. I just told you a little while ago, these leaders that they call leaders, this included Lena Horne, this included Dick Gregory, and this included comedians, comics, trumpet players, baseball players. Show me in the white community where a comedian is a white leader. Show me in the white community where a singer is a white leader, or a dancer or a trumpet player is a white leader. These aren't leaders. These are puppets and clowns. It's Saturday. <laughs> we are in our fourth month, going to the fifth month, in a theme called the healing. After the purge comes the healing. And quite honestly, I would tell you, this is April going on to May. I feel so peaceful. When you remove yourself from toxic people, it brings you, brings you your peace back. I unsubscribe to all those different people that's toxic. I barely have any subscribe, uh, any subscriptions. I've erased and don't want to hear about what they're talking about or what they're doing. Their talk has done nothing to help us in this situation. These people have been talking on YouTube for a long time. And the only thing they bring to social media for us is poison. They do not bring anything to heal. Not long ago, it was easy for me to find somebody to talk negative, to talk nasty, dirty, expose people. 
could you come here and talk about so-and-so? We want to expose beefing. So I reach out during the healing and I ask, can you bring a message of healing? Can you bring a message? How can I become a better person in life? How can I squash the beef? How can I bring unity among a people so divided? As you can see, where are they at? I don't get, nobody wants to respond. We have videos like Soul Liberation Day. Soul Liberation Day and the healing are very positive messages, very wonderful messages to help bring us healing. They don't play that. They want to play videos about Sister Noble or Black Sun or whatever negative crap that we made. What does this tell us? Unfortunately, we as a, well, we're not a people. We've never been a people. But this group of individuals, because of our mindset, chances are, and the, the probability is very high that we're done. So before we are done, I would like to just say, it was nice knowing you. It's nice knowing you, Mello. Nice knowing you, twin, Sister Ann, uh, Denzel. It was nice knowing you. Because it looks like we're done. Thank you. It was nice knowing you, Brother Chris. It was nice knowing you. We're done. So if I feel that way, why do I find it necessary to come and talk to us because I'm talking to us. And if others choose to listen, that's fine. But I wanna talk to us because I enjoy us. And we understand maybe by some miracle, they may truly awaken by some miracle. It could happen. We don't know. All things are possible. All things are possible. But we meet and we talk because we are like the Jesus of the Bible. We are in this world, but we're not of this world. And you feel alone because you're surrounded by all this confusion and this madness. So it is a wonderful thing when you can find somebody like yourself on such a high level. Not many people reach the high level. The majority of people in this country do not have college education. They do not have a the education of higher learning. Everybody can't make the higher level. Only a few. And it is usually these who reach the higher level, they are the leaders. This is not to say that they are very all that smart or whatever. I'm just talking about these, these schools of higher learning because the most educated person in higher learning can still be a damn fool. But see, we are beyond that because we found our learning upon 
logic, reason, common sense, and being analytical. We have been able to evolve out of the race game. The race is what made you what made us have problems. Race is what made us sick. What make you think that being blackity black, pan African, all this black, what make you think that's going to heal you when that's the very thing that caused your problem that put you in this situation that has you sick? We have evolved out of that. We have evolved out of religious teachings going from dependence to true independence. We understand like the Bible teaches that the heaven on earth is in you. We just have to bring it out. You cannot do that when you're dependent on somebody else. It's a wonderful thing to be at peace. In the Muslim world, according to the Holy Quran, one of the worst things that you can do is break somebody's peace. You can get caught up on a death sentence because you broke somebody's peace. So I can say, and we have not been distracted because I don't care. After the purge comes the healing. So when you separate yourself from all the toxic, toxic crap, the toxic waste, unsubscribe from all that. You will be like myself. You will find yourself feeling at peace. It's a wonderful thing. And I don't care what they do. I will not be distracted from the healing. You can make all the videos that you want and say whatever you want. I will not respond. This is the healing because I want to be better and I'm going to do better and leave you in the garbage dump where you wanna be and where you deserve. This is Saturday. I don't have to wait till Sunday in order to be where we're at right now, some type of holy day. You and I, actually, we could be like this every day. Unfortunately, you have those who are, as they say, hell raisers. They enjoy being poisoned. They enjoy fussing and fighting and cussing and even murder. And it's going to happen. It's just a matter of time. Somebody is going to kill somebody. It's just a matter of time. Matter of fact, the, probably the only reason why we haven't really seen 